Hello, got one of these the other day, thought it might be interesting to do an unboxing. What is it? It's a digital microscope. One of them. Digital microscope, USB, USB-C, micro, and it says, shows it being used on a mobile phone. Well, the good news is it probably works on some mobile phones. The bad news is it doesn't work on my mobile phone. However, I didn't buy it for that purpose, so therefore I'm not that disappointed. So I've bought it to be able to use it with my computer rather than I bought and I paid quite a lot of money for a lens type magnifying thing which I bought a couple of years ago. And to be honest, it's rubbish. Just taking the box off, it's nice and neat. Boxes, well, you can see it's the size of my hand, so see, being from the UK, I'm bilingual, I'm binumeral, I can't work out numbers in metric or imperial. But there we go, open it up, it's nice and neat inside. Let's have a look. What we got, All right? Okay, well, that appears to be the microscope and a bit of padding, rather. Oh, that's rather nice. That is a sort of a soft velvet, oh look at that, soft velvet bag, put all the bits in, what else we got in here, got some slides to be able to play with, I knew they were coming but they're quite okay, got a stand, okay, and we've got instruction booklet and Warranty card and what is the warranty on it? It says 24 hour response time, 30 day money back guarantee, 120 day replacement warranty, limited lifetime support guarantee. Alright, that's good then. And it's got all the stuff there pancellant.com. Pancellant.com. Can't really read it. Right, there's the user manual which is um well i don't understand the modern thing about manuals why do they make them so that you need to be able to read with a magnifying glass and that is that is ridiculously small i'm going to have to read that later it does say that there's a mobile terminal users and there's a windows thing on there somewhere That's it, just saw it there, Windows, View Play Cap, anyway, instructor for Mac users, so covers all bases, literally, that's rather nice, now that is made of proper metal, and that is made of proper metal, and it's got an adjuster there, and it's got a clamp, sort of, like a pipe clamp there, so let's have a so we look and see what this bit's like. I recognise that. It's got a plastic cap on the end, and it's got a cable, and on the cable is a knob. Now the knob is a slide, it's a not a knob, it's a control, and on here we have the USB. So we've got USB-C, we've got standard USB, and in there, so pull that up, is the micro USB, it's rather clever, I'm going to have to use it that way because I've got to use it in a Windows computer. Right, so, there's no microphone, obviously. Now, if you look down there, I don't know if you can see it. See the segments for the LED lights. So that clamps, let's see which way does this work. Okay, so that clamps into there. Very nice. And you can alter the angle to suit. There we go. 
and alter it to suit. Remembering to take off your lens cap. Okay, on a firm surface that would be okay. Can't see any problems with that. So let's go and try it on a computer. So, right. You've seen my HP computer before, so we'll plug it in and set it up. And here's the lead with the control on it, so that alters the brightness of the LEDs. Okay, so let's see if it works. Now, there was a software which they mentioned, which was called Smart Camera. So let's see if I can find it. I've downloaded it. I've just got to sign in. And where is it? Smart. So I've downloaded the file, and it's called Camera. And I'm just going to double click on that. I've plugged in the actual scope and it's plugged in there. It's gone through some initialization. It called it a car camera, but I don't know. Anyway, let's see if we can get this to operate. Double click. And it's coming. Oh, look, there's me. That wasn't what I wanted. So let's go in and change. What it's seeing as IP camera, and hopefully something should happen. And it says cannot connect. Very confusingly, this turned out to be a bit of a problem. Actually, it's not the one marked IP camera, it's the one marked integral webcam that you need to click on, and then it should start to work, or at least that's what it did on mine. Please check. So I've got to go away and try something. Right, there's the icon. I've just copied the file onto the desktop, and there's the icon for it now. And it works. It's adequate. Does the job. 19 quid. Don't know what more you can ask for. That's a full screen of what? That's a lot. I'm looking at the carpet. Don't know if this is a good idea, but I'll give it a go anyway. Now I'm rotating the rings. On the, oh, look, here we go. I'm past the point. All right, so we have a cream carpet. And that's what the fibres look like. Wow. That's not on the full magnification, but it's pretty damn good. Let's have a look at something a bit different. We'll now take us over to... This is some proper feeds. So this is a cassette tape, and it's, uh, as you can see, it's a video. So it's moving, and on the top right hand side there you can see the pad. So that's literally what would be rubbing against the head, that bit of tape there. And you can see there's scratches, and there are blotches, and it's, um, it's quite an interesting surface. Here is a little bit of a different angle, and you can see how the ability to focus alters the depth of field and whatever. It's quite, uh, quite hurry around there. Again, you can see there's that little white pip that's on the thing, and there's some obvious blotches and scratch marks and machining marks as well. And you can see the machining on the plastic and the pad. Now this is a record groove. And uh, we'll come back to that in a minute because you can see that it's nicely moving. We'll go for a quick tour across the record. And then you can see here various bits and pieces, uh, some craft and some some lumps and bumps and this is the feeding groove this is the on the very edge of the record and um, it's quite quite amazing to see how sharp edged the grooves are uh, they should that's the very very edge there now we're looking at this is the printing and when it comes back into focus this is the printing on the tubular bells album and you can see this is basically the blue bit. But <laughs> the, the, the pictures are pretty amazing. You can actually see, I think it gets into focus in a sec. Yeah, 
Okay, there we go. That's you can see the, the grains of the paper. This is high gloss record cover paper, and that's the ink and the patterns that produce the colours. Absolutely stunning. And now something for the tape head fans. Literally, this is a tape head. This is the tape head from the Ion taped PC. You can see there. You can see the laminates of the actual head. This is a cool playback head. And um, you can see the surface there, the machining and the brushed effect. And whatever those spots are, I have no idea. I'm running this as as strangely as you are. I've never seen it before. And then with, this is the pinch roller by the looks of it on the right hand side there. Yep. It's the pinch hole roller and the capstan. Now, as you can see, the pinch roller's got a nice matte surface, which is good. And uh, let's see what else we can have a look at. Yeah, you can see there's a very slight groove. This machine hasn't been used a great deal, so it should be in good condition mechanically, if not actually very young, I think so. I got it a few years ago, probably five years, ten years ago, something, something between five and ten years ago. Anyway, so that's that. And let's have a look and see what other bits we can see in here. Because I've literally shoved this microscope into the cassette housing the door, so behind the door, and it's looking straight down. And this looks to be the erase head, which it is. And you can see there some oxide on the erase head and some scratches. So this is a still from the record tracks and if you look at it here, we'll just rotate it around, you can actually see the the width of the tracks varying from side to side and also the depth of the tracks. And if you look, there's those little white spots on it. Now there you can see them clearly, they look a little bit phallic, but that is actually, there we go, that is the high frequencies and stuff cut into the sides of the track. Finally, just to see what it could do, I looked at a coin, this is a 2p piece and you can see the uh, engraving and the hammering that it's had how amazing the detail is and uh, I've never seen anything quite like that absolutely stunning this is 20 quid and uh, I, there are other models available I'll put a link in the description for you and I would say yes it's a good one for the simple reason that it does things that you can't otherwise do it's far more flexible than a stand microscope and it's a lot better than an eye, eyeglass because you can't get anywhere with an eyeglass. So overall, I'd say, yeah, I'd rate it probably about an 8 out of 10. There's probably better ones out there, but this will do the job. And for 20 quid, I don't think you can go wrong. I hope you found that of use and I hope you found it interesting and enjoyed it. Please subscribe, like, share, and I'll leave a link in the description to these products. I'm not getting anything for it, but uh, you might find it of interest. Any questions, put them in the comments. More than happy to help and catch you another time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.